So last week, somebody was playing Call of Duty World War II, an official game available on the Microsoft Store with Game Pass, when this happened. A terminal opens up, there's a message on Notepad, and then their desktop background, as you can see, has been replaced. Now, how did this happen? Turns out the game had an RCE, or a Remote Code Execution vulnerability. Now, you might be wondering, well, what is an RCE? It's just a fancy way to say that hackers can execute whatever code they want on your system. It can be a command to open Notepad, Pad, it can be a command to encrypt your files, and they can do this by exploiting the game in question, because the game is running on your system and it has privileges and access to your system, and that's what the hackers are using to run their code. Now, the shocking thing, obviously, is that this is a mainstream game that's available on Game Pass. As you know, recently Microsoft acquired Activision, the company that makes Call of Duty games, and therefore a lot of those games are now showing up on Windows, available for free download if you have the Game Pass subscription. So a lot of people have been playing it. And then all of a sudden somebody gets hacked. In this case, what the hacker decided to do was just open command prompts and mocking messages, remote shutdowns of players' computers sometimes. So this is more like the fun kind of hacking we used to see back in the day, changing desktop <laughs> wallpapers to display. I'm not going to say that for YouTube, but you can read what's on screen right now. Now, all of this is just to embarrass the user, make fun of them, ruin their game. But of course, this could have more nefarious uses. There are always hackers in the dark web looking for RCEs to buy and sell. So if we look at a search through the dark web here for RCE, you can see that on a Russian forum, they're asking, do you sell or buy RCE? We buy, do you have anything to offer? And if we scroll through this list, you're gonna see very quickly mentions of Call of Duty RCE. So it could be possible that this is now on the dark web and exploitable by hackers, which is why the PC version was temporarily taken offline. So you can't download it anymore until I hope this thing is fixed. Now here's another expanded screenshot of the message that um, a streamer got. So Colt was just playing the game and streaming, and then this message shows up on his screen. Marky Mirror just RCE'd your ass. But the serious question here is, how safe is it to play random games from Game Pass or even Steam? From a security professional perspective, nothing is ever safe to run technically. But what makes these older games with added online functionality particularly dangerous is the fact that they usually have very deep access to your system. Most of them require to be run as admin. If you remember, games back in the Windows XP days, you always have to give admin privileges to the game. And when a lot of them are being ported over to Windows 11, there's minimum effort being put in by the companies because they're not really invested in the game. They're releasing new Call of Duty, which they want you to buy. This is just a low level effort to expand the catalog. So they're just doing the bare minimum, adding online functionality without checking for any security vulnerabilities, RCEs, and just posting it. And when you take something like that and suddenly invite the whole internet into it, this is the predictable result. Get hacked. Your PC is now mine. To add insult to injury, look at this tweet. So Microsoft, when they were first notified about this issue, they responded saying, this is not a violation of our terms. Because let's be honest, we all know Microsoft digital safety and all these report functionalities do not have experienced security professionals who even understand what an RCE is. So yeah, some minimum wage worker somewhere looked at this and was like, not my problem, basically. But of course, eventually the message did get through, the game was taken offline. So you're safe now, but for the future, just keep in mind that if there's an old game that's ported over to PC and it's got online multiplayer, there is a fair chance that it could have things like this, an unpatched vulnerability that could allow hackers to access your computer. I'm not saying, of course, that you shouldn't play older games. I love older games, but maybe stick to the original versions, play it offline. It's a much safer way to do it. But again, that's just a security perspective. People have other priorities. I'm not telling you not to play games that you enjoy, but just be aware that things like this can and do happen. Please like and share this video if you like my explanation, if you found it helpful. Also a big shout out to Flair for sponsoring this video. As you can see, we can search for pretty much anything on the dark web across various dark corners of the internet, including telegram chats to see what's out there. And this does give us a lot of intel into what hackers are thinking. So as you can see, I just did a search for RCE across illicit networks that includes things like forum posts on the dark web, also pastebin, telegram chat rooms, all sorts of shady areas, botnets, ransomware files. And you can see a lot of people buying and selling RCEs. And this 
this is really the scary part about hacks like this is that once something like this is discovered, it is possible for the information, the code to be easily sold in areas like the dark web to be used for more nefarious things than just making fun of you. Someone could steal your login, your credentials using an info stealer via this method. And if you're curious about what kind of data you have on you on the dark web, you can always do a search on Flare with your email address and it's going to tell you if you've been compromised in the leak, if attackers may have your login or password. And as a company, it keeps you one step ahead of the hackers. A lot of the times this information is out there for weeks or months before somebody uses it to make an intrusion. So it's valuable info. So do check them out using the link in the description. You can get a free trial and they've been a very good sponsor of the channel. So show them some love. And of course, thank you so much for taking the time and watching this video. This is Leo. Do subscribe to the PC Security channel if you want to see more. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.